Families in La Crescenta mobilized once again today, protesting to keep a dangerous sex offender out of their neighborhood and away from their children. And CBS News' Candace Crone live in La Crescenta with more on their fight ahead of a key court decision. Candace. That's right, dozens of people gathered here along Foothill Boulevard, outraged that the man could soon become their neighbor. Take a look at this video from their demonstration earlier this afternoon. Neighbors held bright yellow signs reading, keep sexually violent predators out of La Crescenta. Well, they don't want 66-year-old Calvin Grassmeyer to be placed here. He's convicted of sex crimes against minors in the 90s. Well, Grassmeyer would have to wear an ankle monitor and require an escort to leave, but neighbors say that doesn't make them feel any safer as the home being considered for him is near countless children, a community park, and an elementary school. My response is this is the, not the appropriate neighborhood. No neighborhood with this, these many children. It's an appropriate place to place somebody with these types of crimes. They have a high rate of repeating these crimes. I think it's when this predator, when the violent predator, which he proved that can be violent at any time, so this is a threat to us. This is a threat to our neighborhood. And people who live in this area say that they don't trust the ankle monitoring system because cell reception and GPS signals are spotty and very poor in some areas. Uh, back out here live, I did uh, speak to uh, Superintendent Catherine Barger, who represents this district, and she says that she is outraged, uh, disgusted that the court is considering uh, placing Grassmeyer here. Uh, residents told me that they do plan to attend a court hearing next Friday, and of course, we'll continue to follow this story. We're live in La Crescenta, Candace Crone. CBS 2 News. Back to you guys.